All the Natal hardware is designed here in England, uh, all British designed, unique tooling, unique fixtures and fittings, except for the, the rims on the toms and the snare drum. Here's a bass drum spur. Um, there, there are plenty of teeth on the inside of the spur, so when you alter the angle to, that suits your need with the bass drum, it locks into position. This enables you to make sure that both spurs are in the same position, both sides, as do these grooves in, in, in the leg on the spur here. It enables you to make sure that not only is it in the same angle, it's the same length. If you look at the foot of the spur, there's plenty of um, room for manoeuvre here so that you can have the, the spur sticking in, in, into your carpet or indeed, if you prefer not to, you can extend this rubber piece over, over the end of the spur and then lock it into position here. All the lug boxes, whether it be tom, snare drum or bass drum, are isolated from the shell by rubber grommets. This just reduces the amount of contact that there is uh, with, from the hardware to the shell itself. All the tuning rods, whether it be bass drum, snare drum or toms, are all pre-dipped in nylon. There's a three washer system here and they're all integral features that give it a smooth tuning action and it helps maintain the note that you've desired. So tuning uh, the toms, the snare and the kick, they all stay in tune much easier because of these additional features on the tuning rods. As you can see here, we've got a claw on this because this is for a bass drum. There's a rubber grommet on the inside that protects the drum from any damage. But again, it's an integral feature for the tuning. It just helps keep everything in place. Uh, it helps you maintain the note that you desire on your bass drum. The Pro Series hardware that Natala produced has got some really nice features. The, uh, the hi-hat stand is a two-legged system um, held in place by the plate of the pedal. You can adjust the height, it's memory locked, and you can also adjust the tension of, of the rod, the action uh, that goes up and down. There's plenty of uh, room for manoeuvring that to suit how you, how you want the hi-hat to, to respond, how quickly you want it to respond. The, the boom stands, you can either retract the boom arm into the top part of the stand, so it's more like a straight cymbal stand. Again, each part of the stand is memory locked, so you, you know exactly where to set it back up next time. Um, and the, the booms themselves, are, they're quite long. There's plenty of uh, room for manoeuvre, so you can have the stands exactly where you want them to be. Uh, there are plenty of multi-clamps and uh, boom arms that you can, you can add on to the, to the stands, um, cowbell clamps and additional hardware features uh, to suit your playing needs. As with the tom arms, the boom arms for the cymbal sand have a memory lock. And as you can see here, the memory lock is curved on one side. The reason for that curvature is it be it's because it sits flush against the circular part of the cymbal stand, the top of the cymbal stand. This allows you to not only set how much boom you have from, from the boom arm, but also the angle, because again, as previously mentioned, the curvature, the angle here of the memory lock will sit flush against the cymbal stand. So you can memory lock how much boom and the angle of the boom arm.